Hey, it's Megan. I'm here today talking about the iPhone 8, and we're gonna interview some students and see what they have to say about it. After talking with students, we found that many are not interested in getting the iPhone 8. I think it's a little pricey, so I don't think I can afford it as a broke college student. Right now, no, because it's just too expensive to start off with, and then you can buy a 7 cheaper at this point once it comes out. I do not because I have the iPhone 7, um, and to me the iPhone 8 feels like such like a little incremental upgrade from the 7. No, I'm not interested in getting the iPhone 8 because if my phone works perfectly fine, I don't feel the need to upgrade. Although there are many similarities between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8, there are also many new features. Due to the glass back, you no longer need a wire to charge your phone. There are air power mats that are available for wireless charging. One of the new features with the camera is being able to shoot 60 frames per second with the slow-mo. Also, the selfie front camera was upgraded from 5 megapixels to 7 megapixels. Audrey Anna Purr, who recently purchased the iPhone Plus, shared her thoughts on the new phone. It's probably my favorite phone I've ever owned yet. My favorite part of it is probably the picture and how you can take like incredible pictures. My previous phone was iPhone 6 and it was just a lot slower and compared to the iPhone 8 like the camera quality was terrible and just the iPhone 8 is just a lot like better version. Is the iPhone 8 really worth the upgrade? This is Megan Duncan reporting for The Beacon.